Recently, I was on YouTube, and in the recommendations popped up this amazing demonstration of a plasma toroid. A young scientist in California named Tate had created a toroid of plasma floating in a globe. And I said to myself, this is something that I have to be able to do myself. And I built the electronics, which are sitting right here. This is an oscillator that's going to have current oscillating in these three coils. Now, what's important is the current's going to go in a circle, which creates a strong magnetic field that circulates in this direction. And that's going to be important because the magnetic field is where all the work is done. Now, it turns out you just can't go buy these globes. I actually had to have it commissioned from an artist in Massachusetts. And I have the globe right here. The globe is a two liter hand blown filled with xenon. I'm going to place it in the center of the coil. And now nothing's happening. And that's because we just have a magnetic field and it passes through the globe with no issue. So what I want to do is I want to try to create a concentration of charge, which I hope then will interact with the magnetic field and start to circulate inside the globe and form what I hope will be current streamers. And then eventually we'll be able to turn those current streamers into a stable floating toroid. So to do that, I'm going to use a technique called induction. I'm going to charge up this plastic wand and I'm going to bring it close. And what will happen is the opposite charge will form on the inside of the globe. And I'm hoping that will concentrate enough of the charge where we'll get this started and we'll start to see some of those current streamers. So what I'm going to do is uh, a very old technique of triboelectric electricity generation. And tribo is just related to friction. So what I'm going to do is just use the friction of two materials to transfer charge from one to the other, one from the cloth, then to the wand. And now I'm going to bring this close to the globe. And there we are. And you can see there's a blue glow of the plasma. And this is xenon gas inside. And that's why it's white and not some other color. And we've got some streamers. And I can interact with the streamers. Now, this may look like a plasma globe. And many times you've played with it, and you'll notice you can interact with it also. But this is quite different than a plasma globe. First off, in our globe, there is nothing. There's no ball with a stick inside that you may see in your plasma globe. And that ball is generating a high voltage, which creates the plasma in a plasma ball. Here, we have absolutely nothing inside except the xenon gas. Another big difference is we have this magnetic field by the coil. And the magnetic field is going to be key to shaping the current flow in the coil when we form the toroid. Now what I want to do is I want to see if I can get one of these streamers to fold back on itself, if you will, a snake that eats itself. And if we can get that, I can probably establish a rotating current. And that rotating current tends to be very stable in this magnetic field. And all of the charge in the plasma inside will congregate and form a plasma toroid that is stable all by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the power up just a little bit. And then I'm just going to use my hands to see if I can get it to form a toroid. And I go just a bit higher. And there we are. You notice the streamers very quickly died away and we formed this amazing self-sustained toroid. You can see it has a little bit of a wobble, but if you look at it from the side, you can see it's just floating and it's floating and controlled by the magnetic field. The current is circulating around it and the magnetic field is shaping it. And I can actually adjust the magnetic field by turning the power up and down and I can actually have it float towards the top and eventually disappear. And that is the amazing plasmatory.